Well, we are living in unprecedented times. Nobody alive had lived through a global pandemic before. On the other hand, that all sounding concept of pandemic clash with the latest social media technologies and the new revolutionary ways to communicate with each other. And I think the script reflected that peculiarity we are living very accurately. Um, of course, we all know that this time is a true test of relationships. And suddenly, due to the lockdowns, unless you live with your partner, all relationships on Earth have become long-distance relationships. Of course, aesthetically, you have to make it more visually interesting and dynamic and at the same time subtly guide the audience through the story. So it was an excellent opportunity to experiment with the point of view of every character. Mm, what I mean is that during the narrative, I decide what point of view, boyfriend or girlfriend, to adopt to improve the story that we are telling. Yeah, we hear at the end the same alarm clock going off that we hear at the beginning of the movie. Probably because he mistakenly adjusted it too late for the meeting because he was sleepy. Going back to that sound was a way to impact the character with how much had changed in his life in the last five minutes. Because, you know, breaking up using Zoom or the phone is more impersonal and abrupt, so it leaves you in a state of shock. I like it that the script was gender agnostic, so that it could be two men, two women, or a hetero couple, like in this case. It's true that traditionally media portrays men as the ones who cheat or the ones that need more sex, but we know those attitudes are interchangeable, even more nowadays that there is more freedom to be yourself, independently of your gender or the prejudice attached to it. And I think we have to reflect and support that in the arts. Of course, due to COVID, we try to shoot it as fast and as safely as possible. We shoot it with the minimum crew during one morning in my house. Basically, we were just Gabriel Angulo, that was the makeup artist, and me. Actually, two days before we originally scheduled the shooting, I got the COVID alert in the app, so I had to get tested. Even though I didn't have any symptoms, we decided that the right thing to do was to delay the production until I got the results. Fortunately, my COVID test result was negative. I can speak for the writer, but indeed there are some parallels because of the long distance relationship. But I don't think we can compare our humble brief story with such a masterpiece. Although COVID probably will define our age from the historical point of view, as all the pandemic did in the past. But it's true I find it fun connecting the title with that South American novel and also the music we use from the Spanish composer Isaac Aldeniz and performed by Jose Miguel Alvarado as a hidden fingerprint of the Spanish influence in this film because despite being an international production shot in Toronto the majority of the team was Spanish from Chile, Argentina and Spain.
almost always, but even more in a story like this, the most critical piece is the acting. I knew the actors, but uh, we haven't worked uh, together before. So we arranged a few rehearsals through Zoom, but from the beginning it was pretty evident that it would work because they are very professional. Noaman and Paz are the kind of actors that listen to each other, which is fundamental to create uh, authenticity and to develop chemistry between them. I just gave them a few adjustments, some together and some in private, about each character's motivation and objectives, and um, of course, something physical to play with. He just woken up and she has been waiting for a while. But they build the rest of the nuances of their characters by themselves. I was so confident about their work that during the shooting it was all about um, capturing their best performances with four cameras, including the ones um, on each computer. For that reason, I'm so proud of the nomination and awards Noaman and Paz have received worldwide. As a fun fact, uh, we keep it in secret that the girlfriend character was actually cheating on him. So when Noaman, who plays the boyfriend character, uh, discovered it during the shooting, it was shocking for him and hilarious for the rest of us. Well, like almost everybody else, I could only focus on development during the pandemic's lockdown. So I'm accumulating a few projects now. But the main ones are a future film adaptation of a horror tale of one of the fathers of the weird fiction in the 19th century, but adapted to the present day. And an anthology series I'm filming around the world. Also, I'm helping other actors as a director with the production of their own amazing projects.